Hey everybody, welcome to this weekly vlog. This week we're going to be talking about the weekly upload schedule, uh, the CK2 streams and some updates and stuff about that, social media link description related things, and meeting some feedback from you guys on a bunch of playthroughs coming up involving Pokemon. First for the schedule, we have Pokemon Platinum on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday, we have the second half of the Far Cry 5 stuff that I've recorded so far. Seems like people are liking that so far. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, Crusader Kings 2, as well as Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. And for 6 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, we have last week's stream, so Evil Genius, and we did some uh, Graveyard Keeper. And on Friday, the final best of World of Warcraft uh, video that I already had recorded. For the streams this week, we have Crusader Kings 2 at 4 p.m. on Tuesday, Evil Genius on Saturday, and Thea the Awakening on Sunday. So Crusader Kings 2 news, I just wanted to say that I've been having so much fucking fun with Crusader Kings 2. Um, it seems like everybody's been really, really enjoying this series, probably even more so than the Asterius playthrough that I did previously. Um, less people are watching this one, and I think it's largely because the first four episodes, uh, it was really hard to read things, and we, we only fixed that in episode five. But I've been having so much fun with this playthrough as Mecha. We've been making crazy progress fast. Like, the fact that we started the last stream just as a duchy, and we ended it making a kingdom... Uh, like, we've, what, less than a hundred years into the game, and we've gone from being a sheik, which is basically a count, to already being probably one of the wealthiest nations in the entire game, having just become a kingdom. We were one of the wealthiest even as a duchy. I just wanted to point out that uh, if you haven't been watching that series and you are into Crusader Kings 2, you might really be into that because things have been going really, really well. Slightly rough start just because the first four episodes, it's hard to see the uh, text in the game because my monitor's so big and the, the game was smaller. Uh, but from episode five onwards, we fixed that. So yeah, give it a look. So an idea I thought of when I was on the stream the other day, uh, I was talking to everybody at the stream and someone asked for my Discord link. And I realized that pretty much any time anyone asks for anything even remotely social media-like, my response is pretty much, it's in the description of every video I do. So just click any video and there you go. And I realize that, well, I mean, this is a thing in general on YouTube. Uh, almost no one reads descriptions, especially below the read more point which I don't necessarily blame people for not checking the description of every old video. But if you don't know, there's links to stuff in the description of all my videos, like everything you could possibly ever find even remotely interesting, I have a link to in there. The most obscure and weird of social medias all have some kind of link to it in there if I have an account on it. No matter how inactive it is, I still have email set up for all of them, so just if you've never taken the time to fully read one of my descriptions before, maybe give it a look. I don't know if you use many of those websites, but uh, there is a whole section at the bottom where it's just every link to every little thing from Steam group to my Steam to Twitter to Facebook fan page to, I think I have an Ask FM page. I have like 500 things on there. If anybody wants links to any of that stuff, uh, it's in the description. Patreon shoutouts for everybody pledging $10 and above. Uh, for this month on Patreon. Had some names change here, so let's see how badly I fuck it all up. Ghazali, Mad Librarian, Fiery Biscuit, Zandak, Taco Man, Play It Bogart, Night Fury 15, The Jed Star, Jetstream, Konk Donk, Sophia Orr, Kilrain, Victor, Wolf 20 KO, One Sevy Siren, Shauna, Tim, Kern Ketta, Lemonhead, Morgan, Disastra, Josh Brown, Emeth, and Thy Lord Castile, whose name I've probably gotten wrong. Thank you so much for your continued support. Uh, enjoy all your Patreon-related rewards. So the big thing I want to talk about this week, though, uh, you guys have obviously noticed by now, probably I am uploading Pokemon Platinum again. We got that going. Been recording that a lot with What a Geek. Been having a lot of fun with that. I've also been recorded on recording on the side uh, Pokemon Emerald with Fatima. That's my wife. It's her first time playing Pokemon in like a decade. And um, she's the one playing the game, and I'm just doing co-commentary with her. We're eight episodes into the recording so far, and it's been really, really fun. I think you guys would like that. But then I ran into the issue of, well, we're doing Platinum already, and then there's Emerald, and if I put them both on at the same time, then 
is that too much Pokemon, you know? Because I only do three locally recorded series at a time. I used to do five, but you guys, uh, I, I made a straw poll vote on one of these vlogs where you guys could vote on if you wanted to keep being five, or if you wanted me to cut it down to three and have more episodes in the series. And I think it was like a solid 70% um, wanted it to go down to three series. So a, a decent majority, a 20% majority wanted that. Uh, that just makes instances like this a little difficult because uh, this would just mean I'm doing lots of Pokemon, Crusader Kings 2, and then whatever other streams I'm doing. So on one hand, I want to start doing the Pokemon Emerald stuff or at least start uploading the Pokemon Emerald stuff because I think you'd like it so much. But at the same time, everyone really likes Pokemon Platinum and everybody's happy Pokemon Platinum is back after multiple years. And I don't want to just end it again immediately or sideline it or anything. So I've been trying to think about what to do with that. I'm not entirely sure. And then on top of that, I want to bring Dragon Ball Z Team Training back because people have been asking for that so much. And for those of you who didn't catch this series before, uh, we're about halfway through it. And it's a complete overhaul mod of Pokemon Fire Red that makes it Dragon Ball. And it's really, really fun. And that was very similar to Pokemon Platinum in just a series of me and my friends goofing off with this Pokemon game and not taking it all too seriously. So there are these three series that are all reasonably similar and they're all Pokemon games essentially. And I've been getting a lot of requests to bring team training back. I've been having a lot of people happy about Pokemon Platinum. And I've also been having a lot of people say that they really want to watch this thing with Fatima because I've been talking about it. And I'm not entirely sure uh, what I should do. So comment section, you decide. If you have any ideas on what I should do on all that, uh, let me know. I I'm going to just immediately nip in the bud. I'm probably not going to just do extra videos where the solution isn't necessarily going to be um, just start uploading all three series at the same time and do more videos because I can only handle so much of a workload. I have a lot of other things to work on and stuff to work on for other people's channels that I help out with and everything. And also, uh, if I spam out a ton of stuff that you guys don't want to watch, it just fucks with the YouTube algorithm and makes it so the more of my videos you skip, the less YouTube is going to start giving you notifications of my videos. Basically, there's there's a lot of reasons not to just spam out tons and tons and tons of videos. So I try to limit it to one to two a video, uh, one to two videos a day. Anyway, I need to get back to working on stuff. Use my Amazon affiliate links linked in the description. I always forget to plug those. In fact, I haven't plugged my Canadian one in so long that <laughs> that for the second time they closed my Canadian Amazon affiliate thing because no one uses it. The U.S. one gets used quite a bit, and the U.K. one gets used a little bit. Uh, but the Canadian one's been shut down twice now, so the, the Canadian link, I believe, doesn't work now. If anybody in the comment section is actually going to use the Canadian Amazon affiliate link, let me know, and I'll change that out and fix it. It's just like an hour-long process to make a new one. If anyone thinks they're going to use it, let me know in the comment section, and I'll go ahead and remake my Amazon affiliates Canadian profile and set that whole thing up. And then after I've done that whole thing, I'll update that link, make it work just for you. I only need one person using it and actually buying stuff off of it every month uh, for it to actually stay. But if you don't know what an Amazon affiliate link is, you just, you click the link of whatever kind of Amazon you want to go to and then you buy stuff and I get a commission for it and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So it's just, if you're going to use Amazon anyway, I guess just bookmark my link or something. I need to get back to working on stuff. Until next time, have a nice day.